Good evening. As of 3 p.m. today, a total of 613 samples have been sent for testing from the state. The results of 607 samples have been received and all are negative. The results of 6 samples are awaited. For continuity of essential services to the general patients, all district health authorities have been directed by the Department of Health to ensure that at least one COVID-19 and one non-COVID-19 hospital is available in each district. All peripheral health facilities such as community health centers, primary health centers, urban primary health centers and sub-centers are to continue delivery of essential services to general patients as well. I would like to inform that the lockdown measures have been further modified and all shops, including neighborhood shops, standalone shops, shops in residential complexes with 50% strength of workers and with wearing of masks and social distancing being mandatory have been allowed to operate. However, shops in multi-brand and single-brand malls and in urban areas, the shops in marketing complexes will remain closed. Further, the shops in crowded areas which offer no scope for social distancing shall remain closed except those dealing with food items and other essential commodities. It may also be reiterated that saloons, dining restaurants, eateries and departmental stores shall remain closed. The respective deputy commissioners will be further issuing orders and directions as regard the opening of the shops in their districts. The proprietors of the shops and establishments which are allowed to open will make arrangements for keeping hand sanitizers or provide facilities for hand washing with soap and water for the public as well as for their own staff. The proprietors of the shops and establishments should also get the door handles, surfaces and other objects which are frequently touched by people regularly cleaned and disinfected. Since the lockdown began, young entrepreneurs in the state through home delivery and e-commerce companies have been extending useful service. In order to promote this sector, Nagaland state government has announced financial assistance of Rs 25,000 to registered home delivery companies transporting essential commodities. The scheme is being implemented through the district administration and anyone interested may approach the respective deputy commissioner who would get the details and after due verifications forward to the government for consideration. As regards the assistance in the form of cash grant to any person from Nagaland stranded or in distress outside the state due to the nationwide COVID-19 lockdown, a total of 9,800 applicants have been verified and an amount of Rs 1.63 crore has been disbursed through direct bank transfer to the accounts of 4,159 applicants up till 24th of April 2020. I conclude by requesting everyone for their support and cooperation in unitedly fighting against COVID-19. Thank you.